guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're gonna do another super fun pour with a dustpan. If you didn't see my first version, check down in the description, I will post the link. Um, someone suggested that I try it as a tree ring in the dustpan, so that's what I'm gonna do this time. And I'm also, I'm gonna use a black background, and then I'm gonna just put some really bright colors on it. So actually, I think before I do the background, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my bowl here. So I'm using Artist Loft Flow Acrylics White, and then I'm using, this as an Artist Loft uh, Magenta, so it's really bright pink, and then uh, Artist Loft Vermilion. All of these are mixed with Floetrol and water, and my um, I put my percentages down in the description, the ratios and everything. I'm going to put a little bit of black in here too. And then this is a uh, metallic turquoise, I think it is, um, from uh, Arteza. So I'm going to go ahead and layer those in here real quick. I need a super full cup. Okay, this is really full. I'm gonna carefully move this aside now and then cover the canvas with the black. Okay, so this is just a, a light layer just to help it flow. So I'm gonna now carefully pick up my cup and this is gonna be interesting because I am right-handed so I'm gonna go ahead and do the tree ring in here and there's quite a few ways that you can do this technique guys so this is only my second time trying this out and um, so I have a lot more techniques to try out <laughs> with this okay so long story short look how cool that looks so that's gonna basically stay the same ish as I pour it out onto the canvas. And I do need to also practice not pouring out, or pouring out more actually at the beginning, because we have a lot of room left on the sides here and I have more paint left. Look how pretty that looks. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna fill in some more on the sides. All right, now I go ahead and tilt. And this is just, you know, personal preference which way you tilt. So, let's see. I kind of make it up as I go. You can't totally see it on the camera probably, but I am digging the metallic turquoisey blue that I put in there. That is making some awesome results. This is definitely a technique I could use a bit more practice with, but the first one I did, I'm super in love with, and now I am really, really digging this one. And I'm really happy with this color combination as well. Bring it back this way a little bit. Not so fond of this side. Okay. There we go. Super cool. All right, I'm gonna make sure to get all my sides and I'm gonna let this sit here for a few minutes. We'll see what else develops. We definitely have some cells popping up and then we will do our close up. All right, we're back. Definitely some cell development in here. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So, lower right hand corner. I love this part up here with the black and the orange and pink. Upper right hand corner. Coming over to the upper left hand corner. Really cool designs in there. And this is the center of our tree ring over here in the lower left hand corner. And some awesome, awesome cells in here. A lot of times I get asked, what is a cell? See those circular little things here? Well, they're not really circle, but you know what I'm saying. Those are cells. <laughs> All right, and there we go. 
So like I said, super fun technique. I will be practicing this in all kinds of different ways. I definitely want to try it on some bigger canvases as well. I'm having a lot of fun playing with it. And who knew? It's a dustpan from the dollar store and I can reuse it a million times. Super cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time.